What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're making a future bounce banger. Let's get into it. So, future bounce. Very bouncy, nice heavy bass, nice saw leads. The great genre that I really like making. So, first thing is the drums. Uh, these drums are very simple. But yeah, they're, they're very effective. So first off, we've got a nice punchy kick. It just has a compressor doing a little bit of compression and then a drum bus just to pump it up a little bit. So you can hear without the compressor and drum bus. So it's still a good kick, but turn these on. It just gives it that little bit of extra punch. Next up, we've got some claps. These are made of three different claps. We've got one, two, and three. So all together we get nice clap. And we've got some hats. Again, made with three different layers. We've got one, we've got two, which is panned a bit to the left. And we've got three, which is panned a bit to the right. Just panning those to the left and right a bit really helps a, spread them out a bit, but also cut through the mix more. So we get this. Next, we've got some rides. And that is literally everything for the drums. Just nice and simple. Now, let's come on to the bass. Our bass layer is made out of three different layers. First, we've got like a high gritty layer. Then we've got more of a mid layer. And then we've got a sub layer. All up, this is what our bass sounds like. More of like a bass housey type bass rather than future bounce. And the reason for that is because this track was originally gonna be a bass house track, but I changed some stuff up and it turned into more future bounce and that's sort of just what happens. But Anyway, that don't matter. Now we come onto the lead. So again, lead made out of three different layers. These are all just vital presets and I'm pretty sure they all came out of Kling preset packs. Just the free stuff that he gives away because I'm cheap and don't like buying shit. That's not true. I do like buying stuff, I'm just broke. If you wanna help me not be broke, subscribe to the channel. It really helps. So our first layer. Our second layer. And our third layer. All pretty good leads by themselves, but all together make a really good lead. And then in the second half of our drop, our first lead just gets turned up an octave. And I change the pattern up a bit to give it a bit of variation. I think repeating the same drop over and over gets a little bit boring. So changing stuff up is a great way to make your songs more unique, more interesting, and a lot more engaging. But anyway, now we come on to some more of like the ear candy sort of stuff. So we've got this like rave stab. These rave stabs are so easy to make. All these rave stabs are, are saw waves, both with eight voices, detuned a bit, got some reverb, some downsample distortion, and some hyper and dimension. And then what makes them sound the way they are is playing them in chords. You can see if you play it just by itself, doesn't really sound great. Like it'd be cool for a lead, but not as like this sort of 90s rave stab. But play them in chords, sounds a whole lot better. Adds a nice little bit of ear candy. And next up, we've got like these dubstep sort of noises. They both came out of a Mysteria pack. We've got one, and then we've got two. And they just really help add some, something a little bit extra into the song. And then next up, we've just got some drum fills and vocal hits. We've got a drum fill and a vocal hit. Okay. And then at the end of the first part of the drop, we've got the same drum fill, and we've got a different vocal hit. Cut the mid -range, drop the bass. And that is basically all the ear candy for the drop. Actually, that is the whole drop. It's very, very simple. We've just got some nice, simple drums. Pretty simple bass. A nice, bouncy lead. And then we add in ear candy. Okay. Very, very simple, but super, super effective. On to the next part of the track. We come into our build up. First thing in our build up, snares. This one's made out of two different snares. We've got one and two. 
and then that just rises up, gets quicker and quicker. And then we've just got these a pitch bend up 12 semitones right at the end of the build up. Next, we've got some impacts. So one, two, and three. So then we've got like a white noise down lifter. And then we've got a re-space, which sort of filters out. Sounds like it stops really suddenly there, but it makes sense in the build-up. And that re-space really sort of helps fill out all that space that makes it not sound so dead and empty. Then we've got some vocal hits. Go, 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 go. And then they change into different vocal hits in the second part of the build-up. And you'll see that's because in here we've got this. We've got this white noise effect, which just helps with this transition. Then we've got a down riser, which then turns into an up riser. And we've got a second riser, which is pretty quiet, but just helps add a little bit. And then next up, we've got that same rave stab. It's just filtered out a little bit. And then that just gets faster as the build-up goes. And then next up, we've just got this reverse sweep. All you do to make that is just get the rave stab, add a shitload of reverb to it, freeze it, flatten it, turn it into its own sample, cut some of that reverb tail, and then reverse it, and you get this. And then next up, we just got this little effect thing. I don't know what you call it. It uh, came out of a vital pack and I just turned it into a sample and reversed it. And then finally in our build up, we've just got our lead that filters in. So it just starts off on one channel, really filtered out. Then when we come into the second half of the build up, it stays filtered out on this bottom section. And then on this top section, it's still a bit filtered out, but it starts, the auto filter starts opening up. And that is everything for this track, how to make a future bounce banger. So before we listen to the final result, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, leave some comments, do all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Thousand people on the dance floor. Jump.